Hello, welcome to Lab V8 Bondage. From today, we are going to start the CLED preparation sample exam series. So, first of all, let's go and look into this first question. It says, how do you document a VI so that the description appears in the context help pop-up window? And there are four options. The first option is to use the VI properties documentation window. The second option is type in the show context help window. Third is create a free level on the front panel. And finally, the th fourth one is to edit the LabVIEW help files. So to understand how to configure this so that uh, your description of the VI you will be building will show up in the show context help. We have to understand what the show context help is and we'll proceed with that one. Let's get into LabVIEW. Now, uh, if you look into the right hand corner next to the VI icon, you'll see a yellow question mark. Basically, that is what the context help is. Context help basically provides you the generic information about what the VI is and what is the purpose or what is the function of that particular VI. For example, wait for millisecond VI will give all the related information associated with it. Now, we're asked in the question that how we can show this particular information about the VI. What we'll do is, we're going to build a simple VI in which we can actually test it. So I drag in the random number VI, I create an indicator. Now I'm going to create that as a sub-VI. Now, if I run it, as you can see, every time when I press it, the VI is generating the random number. So now if I click on the context help for that particular sub-VI, there is no information. I want to be able to know what this particular VI does and whatever. So to make it much more readable, there are three alternatives how we can process this. The first one is to go through the file and VI properties and you will get this window in which you can select the documentation and you can type in. That is the first method. The second method is by pressing the control I. Uh, you reach the same window and finally you can right click on the icon and click the VI properties and go into the documentation. Now I'll start writing the description about this VI. So this VI produces the random number between 0 and 1. So you can add as many information you want related to your particular VI or application. So I'm, it will level ask me to save. Once I've saved it, now if I click the context help and click on my VI, now I got the very good information about that particular VI. So let's come back to the CLED equation. Now, just while looking at it, we know that the correct answer is A by using the VI properties. That means uh, B is incorrect, C is incorrect, and D is incorrect. That means A is the correct answer. Please like, share, and comment on this video for future lab videos. Thank you very much for watching.